Sadakta kabisa mabibi na mabwana popote mlipo na wasabahi hamjambo siku hii ya Ijumaa tarehe 24 Novemba mwaka 2023 na tatu. siku zinazidi kukimbia kweli kweli karibu nikupashe yale ambayo yameweza kujiri katika taifa lako tukufu la Kenya mimi nafahamika kama Mr Eagle 8 Mtazamaji mambo yameweza kuchemuka kutoka ngome yake Rais William Samoei Ruto wanasema kwamba mambo ndio mengi masaa ndio machache. Bara William Samoei Ruto sasa hivi anatakikana aende atafute daktari wa ubongo aweze kumfanyia kitu ambacho kinaitwa treatment kwa wiki mbili ndipo sa aweze kurejea hapa nchini. Maneno haya yameweza kutolewa na kiongozi nan other than bwana Alfred Keter ningependa mtazamaji wangu sitaki kuchukua muda wako mwingi nikusomee kila ambacho kimeweza kuandikwa hapo alafu uweze ama kiweze ku the basis of our discussion bwana Alfred Keter kupitia kwa mtandao wake wa Twitter siku hizi unafahamika kama X <laughs> aliweza kuandika hivi ndio nataka uweze kuniambia kwamba iwapo Alfred Ketere anamuogopa William Samoei Ruto ama hamuogopi bwana Alfred Ketere akakuja akaandika hivi at William Ruto while you are there remember to seek medical advices in Central Institute of Mental Health in Mannheim I have already made arrangements with Dr. Ekad Fajast is one of the best physician treats in Germany. Tumetenga, tumepanga chini ya wiki mbili utakuwa sawa kabisa. Nadhani kwamba mtazamaji wangu uh, chapisho hili Alfred Keter aliweza kulichapisha kipindi kile William Samuel Ruto alikuwa upande wa Germany na cha kushangaza Alfred Keter aliweza akaenda aka retweet ujumbe ambao William Samoei Ruto alikuwa ametundika kwamba Kenya and Germany share strong historical ties and a considerable interest especially in trade investment environment conservation and industrial promotion we will build on these relations to benefit our people Alfred Keteri hata ogopi akaenda akamtag ili aweze kuhakikisha kwamba amesoma ule ujumbe ama admins wake waweze kuhakikisha kwamba wamesoma ule ujumbe bwana Alfred Ketere anamwambia kwamba yeye pamoja na wenzake wameweza kumtengea bwana Zakayo uh, madaktari upande wa Germany nadhani kwamba Zakayo alikuwa upande wa Germany juzi wakaweza kumwambia kwamba wamemtengea daktari mwenye anaitwa Hakad Fachazi mwenye ana deal na maswala ya ubongo kwa sababu aliweza kutuambia kwamba uh, ameweza kumtengea daktari ambaye anafahamika kama psychiatrist. Who is a psychiatrist? Nimeweza kuamua mtazamaji wangu tutafute maana ya psychiatrist ili tuweze kuona ni nini. Fisi a uh, psychiatrist tuweze kuona maana yake ni nini. Nilipoweza kuona maana yake kwenye kamusi psychiatrist inamaanisha physical medicine and rehabilitation physician also known as psychiatrists uh, treat a wide variety of medical cons- conditions affecting brain nasikia huyo ni alfred kateri ambaye ameweza kumwambia bwana william saburuto kwamba tumeweza kukuwekea daktari upande wa germany tafadhali tumia wiki mbili alafu uweza kuhakikisha kwamba umefanywa uh, nini umeangaliwa alafu baada ya wiki mbili utarejea katika hali yako ya kawaida ni kitu gani ambacho kiliweza kumfanya bwana Alfred Keter kumsomea moja kwa moja bwana William Samoei Ruto na kusema sasa hivi bwana William Samoei Ruto anahitaji daktari wa ubongo ni kitu gani ambacho kiliweza kusababisha Bwana Alfred Keter inaonekana kwamba uhusiano wake na William Samoei Ruto uliweza kusambaratika kitambo aswa baada ya kuweza kugundua bwana William Samoei Ruto ni mkora. Na sote tunaelewa kwamba mtazamaji wangu Alfred Keter alikuwa 
ni MP ama ukipenda mbunge wa bunge la Nandi Hills kuanzia mwaka 2018 hapo katika tikiti ya chama cha Jubilee lakini ilipoweza kufika mwaka 2022 kipindi ambapo alikuwa anagombea duru yake ya pili bwana Alfred Keter aliweza kutemwa nje na kutemwa kwake nje kuliweza kuchochewa na rais William Samoi Arap Ruto kipindi kile cha nomination Uh, tunajua kwamba aliweza kunyimwa uh, kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinaitwa uh, nomination certificate ya chama cha UDA licha kwamba aliweza kuibuka mshindi unaniona alafu mwenye aliweza kupewa certificate ile ni mtu ambaye aliweza kuibuka nambari tu na huyo mtu alikuwa anajulikana kama Bernard Kibor Kitur ndiye aliweza kupewa ile certificate ya chama cha UDA baada ya William Samuruto kusema kwamba bwana Alfred Keter hawezi akapewa acha ama hawezi akapewa ile certificate ya chama cha UDA kwa sababu toka hapo nyuma Alfred Keter alikuwa anamsomea William Samuruto. Je, Alfred Keter alikuwa anamsomeaje William Samuruto? Alfred Keter huyu ambao unaona kwenye hiyo picha alikuwa anamwambia William Samuruto ukweli. Haku, hakuna siku ambayo alikuwa anadanganya alikuwa anamwambia ukweli. Nadhani kwamba unakumbuka ile sakata ambayo ilikuwa inahusisha mama Ani Waiguru ile ya NYS. Ile mama aliweza kutoroka na pesa za NYS, William Ruto alikuwa ni mmoja wao ambaye alikuwa anatetea Ani Waiguru kwamba hakuiba zile pesa. Kidogo kidogo tukaweza kusikia kwamba kuna pesa fulani ambazo zilianza kupotea kutoka kwa serikali. William Ruto akahusishwa ndani na bwana Alfred Keter akapropose kwamba William Samuruto aweze kufanyiwa what we call lifestyle audit. Kuanzia hapo wakaanza kufanyia nini? Wakaanza kukosana. Up to an extent kuna kipindi mwaka 2018 bwana Alfred Keter alikuwa upande wa Eldoret akaweza kuongea na William Samuruto in direct na kuweza kumwambia kwamba nimesikia taenda kuulizia urais lakini mimi nitahakikisha kwamba hata wa, hata weza kukua rais kwa sababu yeye ni mwizi akiingia kwa serikali atafanya wakali injini waweze kuchukiwa na atatesa wa Kenya. Sasa hicho kitu kikaleta kusambaratika kati ya bwana Alfred Keter na William Samuruto. Uwezi ni uwezi. Wametubora mpaka maidi wamemaliza wale wanalia kule nyumbani. Wametuzoea wanatuibia mpaka sisi. Na unajua watu wakiiba juzi niliuliza kwa sababu walinipigia simu wakaniambia sasa wewe Naona unaanza kukoroga mambo na mimi naomba kura 2022. Nikamwambia wewe maombi yangu mmemheshimiwa Keteri kwa sababu mimi nataka kuwa rais hata mimi siku moja. Wewe ukipata nafasi watu wa Kenya watachukia jamii yetu ya Kalenji wakifikiria sisi ni wezi kama wewe. Nikamwambia kama kuna mtu anakuombea usikuwe usipata nafasi ya kuwa rais ndio mimi wa kwanza kwa sababu there is nothing like a try. You don't steal on the app of a community. Ukiiba na unue helicopter unajiandikisha wewe mwenyewe. You don't write you don't register in the name of Nandi Nation, then Kalenjin, Kitsigis, Otugen. You register on behalf of yourself and your family. Unasikia mtazamaji wangu, hapa sasa ndio kitu ambacho kinaitwa uhasama kati ya bwana William Ruto na Alfred Keter ulianzia. Katika ile cycle ya William Samuruto kitu ambacho William Samuruto anachukia kabisa ni mtu ambaye anamwambia ukweli. Na nielewa mtu ambaye anamwambia ukweli. Nataka uweze kuniambia katika cycle ya Kenya kwanza ni nani ambaye ataweza kuambia bwana William Samuruto ukweli? Ama kutoka upande wa Rift Valley ni nani ambaye anaweza kasimama akaambia William Samuruto ukweli? Amna ni Alfred Keter. So kitu ambacho kilifanya bwana William Samuruto kuchukia Alfred Keter ni kusungumza mambo ya ukweli kwa sababu William Samuruto anapenda ukora. Na ndio maana bwana Alfred Keter aka propose kwamba William Samuruto apitie upande wa Germany. Hizi si kwambaza anazidi kupepea pepea katika rubaza za kimataifa, aweze kuhakikisha kwamba anatafuta daktari amwangalie ubongo kwa sababu ukora wake umezidi kiwango cha juu. Unajua kuna wenye wataweza kuniuliza Mr. Eagle 8. Unataka kutuambia kwamba William Samuruto ni mkora? Nam. 
William Samuruto ni mkora. Na ndiyo maana unaona bwana Alfred Ketera anasema kwamba apitie kwa madaktari wa mkawe akili waone kama hako sawa. Mbona nasema hivyo? Let's take an example mtazamaji wangu. Hapa hivi unajua tunasema tunaonge tunaweka example tunaona evidence. Nataka uweze kuniambia je William Samuruto yuko sawa kwa sababu juzi aliweza kutuambia kwamba ametoka hapa nchini ama yuko kwenye harakati za kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba watu 1000 1500 watakuwa wanatoka hapa nchini kila wiki vijana watakuwa prepared wanatoka kila wiki yani kuna ndege ambazo zimetengwa kando zitakuwa zinapeperusha wananchi kuelekea rubaza za kimataifa tu 3000 up to 5000 waende kufanya kazi katika rubaza za kimataifa kwa mwezi ni watu 1200 ukipiga kwa mwaka watu wangapi kwa mwaka ni watu wangapi chukua 20000 times 12 almost 900 uh, almost almost pesa watu wengi waende kufanya kazi katika rubaza za kimataifa unanielewa sasa hebu niambie hicho kitu kweli kiko impossible yani kiko possible hicho kitu kweli kiko possible Watu kutolewa 5000 every week hapa nchini waende kufanya kazi katika rubaza za kimataifa. Tumekubaliana vile vile na huyu mama wetu Bore yuko hapa waziri wangu. Tumekubaliana na huyu Bore ya kwamba tuna sign bilateral labor agreements ili to export labor ya Kenya. Kila wiki tunataka export ya labor watu 1000 ama 1500 kila wiki waende wafanye kazi katika duniani kote ndio waweze kutuletea pesa wajisimamie ndio tuweze kubadilisha Kenya na ndio maana bwana William Samiruto anachukia mtu ambaye anamwambia ukweli kwa sababu katika ile cycle ya Kenya kwanza hamna kiongozi ambaye ataweza kumwambia ukweli hapana hapa kiongozi umeweza kuwadanganya wananchi hapa hivi umeweza kuwadanganya wananchi anataka mtu ambaye anampembeleza na mwambia ukweli 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 in the real sense anawanyanyasa wa Kenya kipindi ambapo tumeweza kuona uh, katika hii information ambayo Alfred Ketera ameweza kuretweet upande wa Twitter ambao siku hizi nafahamika kama X but William Samiruta alipoweza kuelekea upande wa Germany na akaweza kupatana na viongozi wa huko tuliona akichapisha kwamba Kenya and Germany shares strong historical ties and a considerable interest especially in trade investment environmental conversation conservation and industrial promotion we will build on these our relations to benefit our people nasikia ameenda kufanya kazi tofauti kule ameenda kuongelea mambo na climate change na mambo kama hayo lakini kipindi ambapo aliweza kutoka hapa nchini alikuwa ametuambia kwamba rais wa Ujerumani alikuwa amemwambia kwamba kuna kazi 1200 za vijana na ndio maana aliweza kutoka hapa nchini akikimbia kutoka hapa nchini Kenya kuelekea Germany ili aende atie kandarasi kasi hizo atie sign kasi hizo zipatikane vijana wafanye nini wafanye lakini tangia alipoweza kurejea hapa nchini amesungumzia maswala na kazi kweli hajaweza kusungumza amesungumzia maswala na kazi hapana lakini kipindi ambapo alikuwa kule alienda kutafuta msaada wa kuweza kuwachukua wa Kenya kutoka hapa nchini kuelekea upande wa wapi kuchukua maafisa wa polisi kutoka hapa nchini kuelekea Haiti waende kupigana ulisikia kiongelea mambo la kuchukua wa Kenya kutoka hapa nchini Kenya awachukue upande wa Germany kazi si alienda kufanya vitu tofauti lakini kipindi ambapo alikuwa anaongea upande wa Bomet aliwaambia wa Kenya kwamba ameenda kule kutafuta kazi 1200 Rais wa Ujerumani alikuwa Kenya karibu miezi tatu ine iliyopita. Leo usiku mimi naenda Ujerumani. Kwa sababu alituahidi ya kwamba tutapata nafasi ya ajira watu elfu mbili. Lazima niende nipange hiyo kazi. Mimi nikitoka Kenya mimi siendi kazi ya utalii. Mimi naenda kazi ya wananchi wa Kenya. Kwa sababu najua nimechaguliwa kwa kazi gani umeweza kujisikilia we mwenyewe umesikia nadhani kwamba mtazamaji wangu kuna kiongozi ambaye ataweza kuambia William Samuiruto ukweli kweli 
Kitu kingine ambacho kinafanya anahitaji daktari wa ubongo jinsi ambavyo bwana Alfred Ketere ameweza kusema ni kwamba anawadanganya wananchi kwamba atapunguza unga, anawadanganya wananchi kwamba atapunguza taxes, ataleta kazi kwa vijana, mama mboga watafanya watapa, kazi katika mazingira bora. Kitu ambacho ni ukora mtupu. Kitu ambacho hakieleweki kwa sababu leo anaweza kasungumza hili akienda tuseme for example ni Kisumu asungumze lile akielekea Kisi asungumze statement ambayo ni tofauti ndio maana eh, bwana mheshimiwa Alfred Ketera anataka bar William Samiruta aweze kupata daktari wa ubongo just imagine kitu ambacho kinafanya bwana Alfred Ketera kuchukiwa ni kitu kama hichi 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 bishop moema pray for me i know we have our son but you know for me I don't give a damn whoever sits. If you don't fix economy, we chase you. That is me. If you don't touch on my life, I don't give a damn. Siji bishop tunaelewana hapo kidogo. You know, the problem with this country is tribalism. You want to have your own and then they don't fix issues. Then you stick to your own. When your problems come to you and take it to the bank. Come January most children will not go to school. Because school fees has been hiked three times. This Christmas, very few people will eat Christmas. Halafu ukiuliza wanaambiwa ati we ni mkale nyamaza. We ni mkale kitu gani? Ukilala jioni na watoto wako wamelala njani wewe peke yako. It's not everyone. And all the petrol stations are in a watu wa opposition and government. If you are a sufferer, you are a sufferer. This government is worse than Uru Kenyatta government. In my own what I think. In my own view, Ama namna gani? Ama namna gani? this is a worse government because who will left fuel at 140, it is 210. And you know the last time, about a week, CS Chirchir, I'm to wait for a Akatangaza, at because of the war in Israel and Palestine, the fuel is going up, up to 300. If it was not for the opposition and the members of press and the media houses to expose them because many other countries were making news saying that the fuel is coming down because of the same war. Others is going uh, ours is going up for the same war. This week they were increasing to 250. Huh? Alafu anatutisha sana atio nini? Sijui wanatishana na mimi wajaribu wazijaribu mimi unajua mkiniangalia hivi amnielewe vizuri. Mimi hakuna mtu anaweza nitisha hata kidogo. Na siogopi wanajua mpaka Ruta anajua. Setisho wangu na mtu yote. Moi died and I let it, let his soul rest in peace. But he knows Alfred Ketera. Uhuru Kenyatta knows that mimi ni wakusema ukweli. Let me tell you something brief as I finish. In this world, make a difference in people's lives when you're still living. Mtasama yu wangu. Do you agree with amweshimiwa Alfred Ketere kwamba Rais William Samuiruto anaitaji matibabu ya kiakili kidogo kwa wiki mbili hivi alafu wakirudi hapa nchini ukute mambo yako sawa ili kenyi weza kusonga mbele? Kwa sababu, kile kitu mbacha na kisungumza hapa nchini ni ukora mtupu. Anawadanganya wa Kenya, anawadanganya wa Nanchi. Na ukiweza kuangalia wale watu ambao wamekosana na bwana William Samuiruto ni watu ambao wanamwambia ukweli kabisa. Na kitu ambacho bwana William Samuiruto anachukia kabisa ni mtu ambaye anamwambia ukweli. Angalia mtu kama Alfred Keteri waliweza kuchukiana na yeye tangu kitambo kwa sababu yeye hiyo kanda ambayo nilikuwekea kwanza akimwambia kwamba mimi na kuombea usipate uraisi kwa sababu ukipata uraisi wa Kenya watachukia kale njini. Kwa sababu wewe ni mwizi utakuwa wenye nyasa wa Kenya. Sio mimi nimesema. Sasa hivi umeweza kusikia jinsi ambavyo anamwambia ukweli mtupu. Mtu mwingine ambao umeweza kuchukiana na William Samoiruta angalia mtu kama Fred Matiangi. Fred Matiangi alikuwa anamwambia ukweli kabisa. There is no way unaweza ukakuwa kwa serikali asubuhi ikifika jioni wewe ni opposition leader. Wakachukiana. Angalia mtu kama Eugene Wamalwa. Eugene Wamalwa alikuwa anamwambia bwana hizi pesa ambazo mnaiwaibia wa Kenya kutoka kwa serikali Munataka wa Kenya waweze kupata services kivipi kipindi ambapo munapora mali ya serikali. Suwali kwa sana. Nadio nakuambia kwamba katika ile cycle ya buwana William Samuiruto. 
hataki mtu ambaye anamwambia ukweli mtupu na ndio nakuuliza mtazamaji wangu je unakubaliana na bwana Alfred Keter kwamba daktari Samoi Arapruto apate daktari wa akili aweze kumtibu kwa sababu hanayo makaratasi ya darasani lakini makaratasi ya uongo hatujui mahali ambapo alitoa and in fact hata ameweza kuongezea wa Kenya gharama ya maisha kubwa ameongeza mpaka petroli mataifa ya East Africa Tanzania Uganda Rwanda Burundi South Sudan pamoja na Kongo wamekata uongozi wake mbaya wazo lako ni lipi unakubaliana na Alfred Keter kwamba bwana William Samuruta anahitaji kupata uh, matibabu ya kiakili kama unakubaliana naye sema nasi na rejea na mengi tena zaidi jina langu nafahamika kama Mr Eagle 8 Tafadhali usiondoke bila ya kupiga subscription